Hi, everyone. This is Linda, and we're going to talk a little bit today about using Quick Design, which is an app, who's part of Viking app for your iPhone, iPad, or Android phone. Foth also has a version of it called Image Stitch that works the same way, and they work in conjunction with My Sonet. So if you don't have a My Sonet account, go ahead and sign up for that. It is really kind of an awesome thing to have, not only for those machines that are Wi-Fi based machines, but also for everybody else, because you can communicate with your phone with making that simple little quick design and sending it over and using it in your software. So even if you don't have the current software, definitely still sign up for the MySonet software or the MySonet.com and just sign up for an account. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm actually going to show you about bringing, taking a simple line clip art into um, your phone and taking that design and then bringing it into your software. So you need to send the, be able to send that design from your phone to the MySonet cloud for use in your machine or in software. Again, if you don't have a Wi-Fi based machine, but you do have like a Topaz 50 or an old diamond, it doesn't really matter. You will be able to take that design that you create in Quick Design, bring it into your software, and then save it to a USB stick if you want that. That's the way you want to communicate to your machine. The software you need is the Husqvarna Vina who's going to Viking quick design or the Foth image ditch and it's used for iPhones, iPads or an Android based phone. We're going to make the modifications. The video is done actually using the MySonet Platinum software, but because you're just bringing in a design from the MySonet cloud, you don't need to use the MySonet software to do this. You can use it using 60, you can use it using Premiere Plus, you can use it Premiere, Premiere Plus 2. So it's just a matter of bringing in a design that gets created. But you do need to have a MySonet account. This is free, it doesn't cost you a thing. Stitching out the design, that's up to you. I stitched it on balsa wood, but that's personal preference. Um, I'm not going to go through stitching it out on balsa wood. So let's get started. So basically, I used an app in order to create this sunflower over here. I used an app called Quick Design, and it's put out by Viking. It will work on a an Android phone or an iPhone. I happen to have an iPhone. I found a piece of clip art of the sunflower, and I'm going to bring that into Quick Design. Now, you can either do take a picture by using the camera here, and I would say simple coloring book quality designs, but I actually found one, and I'm going to go and grab this. And there it is. And the first one it's going to do is it's going to do a scatter. And I don't want it to do scatter. I actually want it to do line art. So you have two choices. You can do large or you can do small. And I'm just going to do a small one because I'm going to use it for a card. Okay, so I have my design up. And I'm. this is what I'm going to do. I use the small scatter or the small uh, line art. And all I need to do is make sure that I am logged into my Sonet. And if I'm not, this isn't going to work. So I'm going to actually set this and I'm going to hit select this. I'm going to let it stay that name and I'm going to hit save and it should go. And it says my design has been uploaded. So what that lets me do now is I can actually bring that into my sewing machine if I have a Wi-Fi compatible machine and I've logged into my Sonet, or I can actually bring it into my software and make changes. Now the eyes and the mouth that I put on here are actually sewing machine stitches that are actually in the Epic. But if you don't have the Epic and you don't have those there, you could actually bring it into your software and do your own thing. So if give me a second and I'll show you how I can do that. Okay, so I'm in my Sonet. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just go to the tools and I'm going to go to my cloud. And in my cloud, I'm going to have all these designs. Now what will happen is it will actually create a folder called quick design. So if I select that, I now have that line art, that piece that what I just did in the um, 
app. I have it here and I'm going to select to download it. So it's going to go to my download folder. So then I can actually bring it up in my software. Okay, so I am using my Sonet software. Now this is the platinum version of the software, but this can be done in 6D, it can be doing anything, because basically all I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring in an actual design, which is the one that I downloaded. Remember, I went to downloads and that's where it went to. So I'm going to do insert, and it would be the same in 6D, it's called insert, or you can go to file and find insert. I'm just gonna click on insert, and I'm going to go into uh, my downloads which is where it went to and it's line art and I'm going to do open and there it is so now I could actually go in and actually make some changes so I could actually go I'm going to go to the letter tab and again you're going to have this if as long as you have um, some version of the software kind of want there so I'm going to again I'm just going to use that same thing and I'm going to use this as a period and I'm going to make it a little bit larger and I'm gonna make it, oh, let's make it 50 just so it's really big. And so there's my one eye. Then I can duplicate that and I can go home. Again, this can be done in the other software too. So I'm gonna duplicate it and I'm gonna put the other eye over. And now I just need a little mouth. So as I said, I'm using the MySonet Platinum software, but if you have the older versions like Premiere Plus 2 or Premiere Plus, you actually have a another tab called border and where you're going to go instead of frame is you're going to border and you'll get the same basic thing select a single motif underline which is in the center area here and I'm going to do select motif and I want a scallop for the mouth and I'm going to go grab scallops and I can leave it right what it is but it's a little bit too big for what we want i'm going to drop this to like oh let's make it see if i'll let me get all the way down to a 10. so i'm going to do 10 and i'm going to do okay make sure nothing is selected here and then you're going to hit apply and you want oh number of repeats is one apply should pop it kind of to the center here but of course i don't want it to be an unhappy face i want it to be a happy face and i can do a right mouse button I can do properties and I can rotate this 180 degrees and now he's a happy face. Now I can still mess with where these are at. If I wanted to put a little nose in there, I could do that. Um, I actually want his mouth to be a little bit slanted. So I'm going to zoom in here so I can actually get these little handles and I want to actually do it maybe a little bit. I'm going to zoom back out and I want my eyes in a different spot. I want them down just a little bit get this one and I'm going to get it down just a minute actually that's kind of cool these kind of sitting sideways so you can again bring the design into your software and do some changes you don't have to actually send it to your machine because not everybody has a wi-fi compatible machine so know that you can actually do this and use that app to do very simple clip art type of drawings um, and have fun and so don't forget you want to either you're going to either send it to your machine from here if you have a um a diamond or whatever that you actually have a cable you can send it directly there or you can actually do an export and export it to a usb stick and then bring it up in your other machine so again you can use a topaz you could use any machine that you have to use that particular app it's really cool